Hello YouTube, it's Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to my Pokemon Ruby Walkthrough Part 8. Uh, in this part, we're just gonna, uh, you know, go, uh, go into the Dream Yard and battle a couple trainers, and then we're gonna make our way to Nacarine City. So, yeah, let's just get it started. And if you guys have not watched, um, Part 7, um, that I, up that I uploaded yesterday, uh, yeah, I got transferred to Unova when I was in the Hoenn region, and it's really awkward and really strange. But anyways, so, hmm, I don't really know how much I want to go through the grass. Any Pokemon that I find, I'm gonna catch it, because I have, like, I don't know, um, I have, like, 882 Master Balls. Yeah, some of these, some of these um, people here I cannot battle, like, it's kind of weird, like, and whenever you talk to them, or try to try, or w when you run into them, they just bounce, like, it's really weird. Uh, can I battle? Let's see, can I battle you? Yes, I can. Okay. And, okay, oops. I forget which Pokemon do I have in front of the it's Swellow, yeah. I'm exactly where I left off, uh, in, um, part 7. So, I, I haven't done anything at all. So. Challenge by Scientist Catherine. Okay, that's weird. Jigglypuff. Wow. That's great. Level 64. Go Swellow. Okay. So, two levels higher than my Swallow, that's gr that's great. Alright, so, let's, um, I'm gonna go for the, hmm, I'm gonna go for Aerial Ace. Jigglypuff, oh, Dire Hit, why, why would you use a Dire Hit? Well, I guess that's what scientists do, but, uh, Jigglypuff's got a lot of, um, like, defense and special defense, like, it doesn't look like it, but it's a pretty, it's pretty defense, it's a pretty good defensive Pokemon. I'll just use, you just use another Aerial Ace and should be able to defeat it. Yeah, it was a mistake using that Dire Hit, like, wh like why would you do that? But, anyways. I don't know if her name is Catherine or Catherine. I can't really pronounce that. Um, Marsharna. Okay. Let's see. I have an Absol, right? I'm pretty sure I have an Absol. Yes, I do. Okay. Alright. So, Absol level 61. Um. Okay. Some t yeah, you know, probably sometime later on in the walkthrough, I'm gonna battle the Elite Four. Uh, I'm gonna battle the... Wow, it's level 64. It's uh, a little stronger than the. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a higher level than the than her previous Pokemon. But I'm probably gonna battle the Elite Four. Um, but I, I I have to do a lot of training, and I'm probably gonna be doing that off screen. But that won't be for, for the next few parts uh, of the walkthrough. But anyways, I'll use Night Slash. Yeah, Absol's a pretty fast Pokemon. So okay, okay, Yahoo! One hit KO. It's critical hit. That's why. Absol, you rock. And wow, 3,000 whatever experience points. I don't know. No, my dream about K see, it goes too fast. Three hit 3,072 dollars. That's pretty good. Kind of. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't know if it's good. Anyways, so yeah, let's just uh, continue walking. Hmm. I think I'll switch my Pokemon. I think I think I'll go to. I'll go to Zangu. No, I'll go to Absol. Yeah. Okay. Get more comfortable because you know there's probably gonna be a lot of psychic type Pokemon I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fighting. So this guy, he has a really funny name. This guy right here. Come on, like I know what this guy's name is. Like he's one of Santa's ra reindeer. Um, hmm. that's how you showed up. What? Yeah, he's a psychic, and his name is like. Have you ever guys heard of the reindeer that has a red nose of Santa's reindeer? Yeah. Um, psychic Rudolph. Um, no, that, no, that's just a goofy name. Like, why would you name your kid like like Rudolph? Like, wow. Uh, star me level sixty five. Uh, I knew it was gonna be a, a psychic type, so yeah, Absol's pressure. It's pretty awesome. Not very many non-legendary Pokemon uh, have pressure, so that's pretty cool. So I'll use Night Slash. Star me. Oh crap. Okay, well, uh, it's kind of a good thing that I didn't use Sucker Punch because then it wouldn't have hit. Like I don't know. But okay, so I'm confused. So that's that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Usually, usually when I play Pokemon Pearl, it you know, it, I, I, I hurt myself in my confusion, like, all the time. But in this game, it doesn't, so that's pretty cool. But anyways. Okay. Wobbuffet. Oh, goodness. Like, Wobbuffet doesn't have, like, you know, that that really good attacks. Like, it doesn't have any damage attacks. So, like, that's one good thing about it, but it's really defensive. Like, it has a lot of defense. It's level 65. This is actually, you, you get a Why Not as an egg on Pokemon Ruby... Emerald and Sapphire, I think. I don't know. Uh, when, I, when I played Pokemon Ruby in the first six parts of the walkthrough, and oh, I forgot, I'm confused. Um, like I um when I, when I did the first six parts of the 
po uh, the Pokemon Ruby Rock 3, it was on an emulator. And, um, I have Pokemon Green, and not Green, Emerald, I, and, like, for the Game Boy Advance, like, the actual game, like, the Pokemon Ruby, which is on, on, on an emulator. But anyways, so I think I'll try Sucker Punch, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything good. The only way we can see is if we use it, so. Darn it, I'm so confused! Come on, okay. So, let's see. That's good. Yes, it is. It is good. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's kind of a blackout. Um, my sister wanted me, so, yeah, I had to kind of stop the recording for a minute. But anyways, so yeah, so you killed my Absol. That's really dumb. Okay, so we'll just, switch to, we'll just go to Zangus. Now, I don't know, Zangus, let's see, dark, okay, no, it's one dark move, that's Taunt. Um, but no, it's X Scissor, which is a bug type move, which is somehow super effective on Wild Effect. Uh, so, yahoo! Yeah, Wild Effect can learn any TMs, I don't think. Or HMs, I don't know. Magic, Magic Carp obviously can, but 4,467 experience points, that's good. I defeated Psychic Rudolph. Your power exceeds my psychic power. $2,080. Thank you so much, Rudolph. We're off the red nose reindeer, yeah. Okay, so there's an item over here, and I forget what the item is. What is it? It's a twisted spoon. Somebody want to call a cadaver? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, no, do I have an escape rope? Probably do, because when I got transferred to Unova, they, like, gave me, like, a whole bunch of items. Uh, but it's gonna take a while. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, so, guys, just, uh... Just wait a minute, okay? Thank you for politely waiting. I have 900 escape ropes, so I might as well use one. What? I can't use it? Okay. Because Juniper called me and said I can't use it, so we'll just, we'll just escape by walking. Okay. So oh, get away from me. How do I get out of here? Oh, right, over here. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Woo Inside the cave. We're over here. Over here. Yeah, over here. Okay, let's escape, please. I'm gonna go. Come on! Man, this takes. Rigged, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just use a bicycle, guys. Go, oops. Let's go much faster. Okay. Sorry, I moved my DS a lot. Alright. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through Striton City. I don't need to heal. Actually, yes, I do. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I know. I was, I was just like over here, and now I'm, I'm like in the front of the Pokemon Center. But yeah. Uh, I don't have much battery power left in my camera, so if it. Uh. If. Like, like if, it, if the video randomly stops, I apologize because, yeah. But, anyways, yeah, let's just do this fast. I have four Pokemon. Yes, I'm planning on catching some. You can catch some Unibot Pokemon, but not until you get like get to like Undela Town and stuff. And Undela Town, that's hopefully gonna be the last place I'm gonna visit, cause that's the cause the most epic battle is gonna be there. And I'm not gonna say it cause it's a surprise. You guys probably know who it is, but I'm not gonna say it. But yeah, by the way, I also got an egg, too. You guys probably watched the last part. Oh, yeah. You want me again? Wait, what? An egg. Okay, which Pokemon do I actually exactly have in the daycare? Give me another egg. Thanks, buddy. Let's see. Hmm. Pokemon. Let's see. I have two eggs. That's awesome. I have two eggs. Can't get any more awesome than that. Or can you? Anyways, so yeah, let's just... Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's just get out of here. Let's, uh, how do you escape? How do you go? How do you leave here? I just want to leave. I'm going to bike down here. Yeah, so Nakarin City is not mu that much farther away. So we're just going to bike down here and go in here. And this is the way to Nakarin City. So yeah, that's Nakarin City is right out there. That's it for this part, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay tuned for part 9. I really appreciate you guys watching um, this part. Thanks, thank you so much. And stay tuned for part 9. God bless you and goodbye.